China has just uncovered 76 mysterious layers hidden beneath Mars, evidence that liquid water may have flowed there as recently as 400,000 years ago. These are not ancient, dead rocks, but the fingerprints of a planet alive with shifting climates and perhaps something far more unsettling. What did the Jurong rover really find beneath the surface, and could it force us to rewrite everything we thought we knew about Mars? On July 23, 2020, a Long March 5 rocket thundered off the pad in Hainan, China, carrying the Tianwen-1 spacecraft on its way to Mars. For the first time, China attempted to send an orbiter, a lander, and a rover, all in one mission. The spacecraft crossed 470 million kilometers over 202 days, then entered Mars orbit on February 10, 2021. Engineers at the Beijing Aerospace Control Center tracked every maneuver, every course correction, knowing that a single miscalculation could end the mission before it began. Three months later, on May 14, 2021, the lander separated from the orbiter and began its descent through the thin Martian atmosphere. The target, Utopia Planitia, a vast northern basin rich in geological history and the same region where NASA's Viking 2 had landed decades before. As telemetry confirmed touchdown, relief swept through mission control. China had just become the second country ever to land and operate a rover on Mars. The Jurong rover, named after a mythological fire god, stood 1.85 meters tall and weighed about 240 kilograms. Its frame bristled with scientific instruments, panoramic cameras, a multispectral imager, magnetic field sensors, and most critically, a ground-penetrating radar designed to scan deep beneath the Martian surface. Jurong was built for a 90 Sol mission, roughly three months by Earth's clock. But the rover kept going, surviving dust storms and freezing nights, traveling nearly two kilometers over more than 350 Martian days. Each wheel left a faint track across the red soil, but the real journey happened underground. The radar system sent pulses through the regolith, collecting data from as deep as 35 meters below. The rover's endurance surprised even its designers, outlasting its initial schedule by nearly a year until, in May 2022, a thick blanket of dust and the onset of Martian winter forced it into hibernation. By then, Zhurong had delivered a trove of data, enough to challenge everything scientists thought they knew about Mars's hidden past. Zhurong's ground-penetrating radar began its slow sweep beneath Utopia Planitia, firing electromagnetic pulses deep into the Martian soil. The first processed radargrams startled the Chinese Academy of Sciences team. Dozens of persistent, nearly horizontal reflectors appeared between 10 and 35 meters below the surface. Each line hinted at a buried Martian past, layered like pages in a lost book. The CAS radar lead, Fang Guangyu, Fang Guangyo, described the scene as geological strata that match what we would expect from coastal features, beach deposits formed as the ocean receded. In interviews, researchers spoke of seeing more than 10, perhaps dozens of distinct layers, each trace echoing with the possibility of ancient shorelines, floodplains, or even icy sheets. Hydrated sulfates and salts detected by Zhurong's spectrometers and confirmed by microscopic imaging gave these buried structures a chemical fingerprint. On Earth, such minerals only form in the presence of liquid water. Their presence in Utopia Planitia suggests cycles of melting, brine formation, and refreezing, far more recent and dynamic than the static frozen world many expected. But the radar story is not without controversy. NASA and ESA radar specialists, familiar with the quirks of Martian GPR, urge caution. One shared scientist points out that radar reflectors can signal true layering, or simply mark boundaries between materials with different grain sizes, ice content, or even instrument artifacts. The vertical resolution of Jurong's system, on the order of a meter, means some layers could be blends or echoes, not distinct geological horizons. Without raw data access, Independent teams can only analyze published radargrams, leaving room for debate over the exact count and nature of these subsurface features. A Mars sedimentary geologist reviewing the findings notes that only direct sampling, cores pulled from beneath the surface, can truly confirm whether these reflectors are the record of ancient seas, wind-blown dunes, 
or something else entirely. The chemical signatures are compelling, but until a sample is returned to Earth, the meaning of these layers remains open to interpretation. For now, the radar has revealed a hidden Martian archive. What it truly contains is a question only future missions can answer. Martian dunes in Utopia. Planitia hold a secret that caught even seasoned planetary geologists off guard. When researchers traced the fine crusts and salt-rich layers above Jurong's traverse, they didn't expect the answer to be so recent. Using crater-size frequency analysis, teams mapped every tiny impact dotting the dune surfaces, then compared their numbers against models built from lunar and Martian impact rates. The result? Some deposits formed as recently as 400,000 years ago, a blink in planetary time. For Mars, a world thought frozen and dry for billions of years, this is almost yesterday. These young ages aren't just a curiosity. They point to a Martian climate driven by cycles as regular as a heartbeat. Mars's orbit changes shape every 100,000 years, swinging from nearly circular to more stretched out. Its axial tilt, unlike Earth's steady 23.5 degrees, wobbles wildly between 15 and 35 degrees over hundreds of thousands of years. When the tilt increases, polar ice begins to melt, sending vapor toward the equator. As the tilt drops, that water freezes again, locking away any hint of warmth. The radar layers beneath Utopia Planitia may be a physical record of these cycles, each band a chapter of melting, flooding, and refreezing, written across deep time. But dating Martian surfaces isn't simple. Crater counts can be skewed by shifting sands, wind erosion, or fresh impacts erasing older evidence. Even so, the consensus among planetary chronologists is clear. These dunes and crusts are among the youngest water-shaped features ever found on Mars. The chemical clues, hydrated salts, sulfates, and thin brine residues, suggest that liquid water, at least in the form of salty slush, persisted through these recent cycles. Still, the only way to be certain is to bring a piece of these layers back to Earth. The story echoes the cautionary tale of NASA's Viking landers in 1976, when ambiguous chemistry left scientists arguing for decades over whether life had been detected or destroyed in the process. Without physical samples, Mars keeps its secrets buried, waiting for the next mission to break the tie between hope and evidence. Tianwen-3 is set to rewrite Mars exploration. Two long march. Five rockets, one with an orbiter and Earth return capsule, the other with a lander and ascent module, are scheduled to launch in 2028. The lander targets Utopia, or Crisi Planitia, regions selected for their potential to preserve ancient biosignatures. Its drill will bore beneath the Martian surface, collecting samples from multiple depths and sealing them in sterile capsules with contamination controls, rivaling the most secure Earth labs. Once the ascent vehicle lifts off from Mars, it will rendezvous with the orbiter, transferring the sealed samples for the journey home. By 2031, the return capsule is expected to streak through Earth's atmosphere, carrying material that could settle the question of life on Mars with physical proof. The stakes extend far beyond science. With NASA and the European Space Agency's Mars sample return, slowed by funding and technical hurdles, China's methodical approach has moved it to the front of the race. If Tianwen-3 succeeds, it will not only deliver the first Martian samples to Earth, but also set the terms for how they are analyzed and shared. The outcome could shape the global narrative about Mars and life beyond Earth. Preparation for this moment is already underway. In Gansu's Gobi Desert, Mars Base 1 simulates Martian living, pressurized habitats, hydroponic farms, and engineered dust storms. In Qinghai, Mars Camp pushes astronaut candidates and engineers to their limits, testing isolation and resource management. These analog sites are more than training grounds. They're stepping stones toward China's plan for five crewed Mars missions from 2033 to 2043, each building toward a lasting human presence. Behind the scenes, engineers are developing nuclear propulsion systems to cut travel time to Mars in half and studying space elevator concepts that could one day move cargo without rockets. Each innovation brings the prospect of a permanent human foothold on Mars closer, as China pushes the boundaries of exploration and competition. In May 2021, 
China's Zhurong rover became the first non-NASA vehicle to operate on Mars, traveling nearly two kilometers and using ground-penetrating radar to detect 76 distinct underground layers in Utopia Planitia. These findings, published in peer-reviewed journals, suggest repeated episodes of flooding and freezing within the last 400,000 years, much more recent than previously believed. Hydrated minerals and salt deposits point to water's persistent presence, raising new questions about Mars's habitability. Yet, without physical samples, scientists cannot confirm the true origin or age of these layers. The planned Tianwen-3 mission, launching in 2028, aims to return Martian soil to Earth by 2031 for direct analysis. As of today, the mystery of possible life beneath Mars's surface remains unsolved. What is clear, China's discoveries have shifted the timeline of Martian water and accelerated the global race to answer one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe?